for a few minutes to the students. I'm basically uh, a writer. I write, I have my blog, and uh, I bloomed uh, quite late in life in the sense that I was waiting for the right opportunity because I got uh, inclined towards spiritual sciences and I had kept that a secret for so many years because it is not a recognized science, it is not taught uh, properly and it is um, somehow not presented into the world. Uh, having said that, I relied on my intuition, the little lamp in me that, that was kindled very early in life and I carved out the path for myself and whatever insights and realizations I have got, I have documented for posterity because they're little, rather they're very advanced. So it is for posterity and uh, in this age and time, uh, it will be preserved well so that the generations uh, coming later should again. So since it is quite advanced and uh, I'm addressing a, a group of small children, I will just give you a few nuggets. We will not talk about uh, anything else. Because these uh, principles are universal, they're eternal, it can be applied by anyone, everywhere, anytime, any age, in every situation. Rather, I would say that these principles are mandatory. And uh, the pillars of my blog, or at least the beginning part, are uh, uh, based on this uh, universal fact that human beings are blessed or endowed with three great unknown powers. And these three powers are the power to will. You can will anything. You may desire anything. We have the power. Right? And the second is the power to act. We, may, we have the power to act. And the third is the power of thought. These are unexplored, hidden, unknown powers latent in each and every human being. Right? So the first thing is that whatever we want to do in life, the first and foremost important thing is to have a will. Unless you children desire something, unless you initiate something, you will never achieve that. No matter uh, what kind of education you get. The will has to be yours. You should want something to do in life. You should have that burning desire to do something unusual. You don't have to follow the same path followed by so many people. You could be your own being. You could be your own person. But the will, the initiative, the motivation has to uh, come from you. No teacher can teach you. Remember that. There is no teacher who has ever taught any student according to me. It, was, it is us who want to learn. It is us who want to imbibe. And then a channel is made. So that's the power of will. I'll be very brief. And the second is the power to act. We always have an option whether we want to act upon something or not. So if you are indifferent, you're a loser. So never be indifferent. Always take initiative. Act. So we are always uh, given an opportunity and it is up to us whether we avail or not. Even in the worst dire situations, there is always an opportunity to do something and find out that opportunity. Never miss that opportunity. Even in uh, situations where you feel there is no way you can progress, find that opportunity. Right? And the third is power of thought. That is something I would like to elaborate for a few minutes and then the rest can follow. I mean, the next program is also there. Um, we are basically made of thoughts. And since thoughts cannot be seen, they cannot be uh, um, caught, they are imperceptible, but uh, they are very powerful because they are translated as actions. So whatever you think is your power. I hope I am getting through. I hope I'm a, I can connect to children today. So, build a mind 
which has immense thought power, but positive power. Generate that power in you. It's like a bank. If you keep on depositing even a rupee every day, in the end you'll have sufficient money. So what I felt was that children, since this science is not an accepted science everywhere in universities, in earlier days, in primitive times, it was a very accepted, it was a discipline, it was a must for everyone. So I wish that you people understand, you children understand, that uh, you must cultivate your mind. And that's the actual, uh, uh, you could say, the theme of my talk, that everyone should cultivate their minds. It's like a garden, we have a big plot. What are we doing with it? It's wild. No one is benefiting, but if you cultivate that plot and then go a step further, why, why, why we just have to clean the plot? Now we should have a vision with the mission. We should imagine that what kind of garden I would like, like what kind of life I want for myself. What am I planning for? What, what is it that actually makes me happy and I want to do it? Go for it. And there is a garden and it's not only a garden. What flowers you want to embed? What seeds you want to sow today? So that you have a beautiful garden. Now imagine that. Have a vision for yourself, your life, for your uh, every day. Plan your every day. And when you have a beautiful garden with, with lovely flowers, fragrance and flower beds and so on. Imagine. Imagine that. So that can be cultivated with these thoughts. Have a vision have a mission, do something exceptional, don't follow people just because everyone is following that path, be your own person and have a vision, cultivate your mind. If you harness your mind, you can achieve anything that you want in life. Thank you.